So for the rest of the class, we're mostly going to be covering common things you see in the C language and how they translate down to assembly. In this particular case, we're going to talk about Boolean logic operations. So for instance, we wrote some very simple C here that had things like XOR, NOT, AND, and OR, and consequently we're going to see new assembly instructions for XOR, NOT, AND, and OR. So the Boolean logic assembly instructions do set the majority of the status flags and the ones we care about, for instance, sign flag or zero flag, you can imagine that if you do an or and if the result leads to something with a one in the most significant bit, then the status flag will be set. If you do an and and you ultimately get zero as the output result, that'll set the zero flag. So each of these instructions basically exactly follows the Boolean logic. In C, the binary operator single ampersand, not the double ampersand, is going to be your bitwise and. Double ampersand is the logical and. The and can have a two operand form, and the destination can be an RMX or a register, and the source can be an RMX or a register or an immediate, but you can't have both the source and the destination as RMXs because, again, that would lead to a memory-to-memory -memory move, which isn't supported on Intel for basic assembly instructions. So as an example, if we had AND, AL, and BL, and if AL held this value, 33, and BL held this value, 55, the bitwise AND is basically just one at a time, go one and one, that is one, one and zero, that is zero, and so forth. So it's just down the line doing the AND operation on these two operands bit at a time. So here's 42 and AL, so using an immediate this time but you're ultimately doing the same thing. Just go vertically, do an AND operation, one and zero is zero, one and one is one, and so forth all the way down the line. The OR instruction is the bitwise OR. The binary operator is a single bar. It's not the double bar, that's the logical OR. Once again, destination can be RMX or register, source can be RMX register or immediate, and no source and destination as RMXs. OR is going to be a bitwise OR, so it just does 1 OR 1, that's 1. 1 OR 0, that's 1. 0 OR 1, that's 1. So basically, as long as you know the basic Boolean operations, then you just go down the line and do it bitwise on the two operands. XOR, exclusive OR, is represented in C as the caret symbol. And once again, source and destination, same forms as the AND and OR. So FYI, you may commonly see XOR appearing in the assembly even if a human didn't actually write an XOR. That's because by definition, XORing something with itself will lead to zero. And so frequently the compiler will automatically generate a XOR of a register with itself in order to zero that register. So here if we add XOR AL AL, then one XOR one is zero. One XOR one is zero, zero XOR zero is zero, and so forth. Finally, the not is essentially one's complement negation. We talked before that negative numbers are two's complement, which is one's complement, where you flip all the bits from zero to one and one to zero, and then you add one. So not is just one's complement, flip all the bits. So in C, this is given by the tilde. It's not the exclamation point symbol, or I implicitly want to say it's not the not, that's the logical not. And not takes a single source and destination operand. So whatever you give as the source is going to be the destination. It's going to in place flip all the bits. The operand is specified in an RMX form. So if we had this value right here, then I think you can all see clearly that if you flip all the bits, what you get is tessellated toads, tessellated toads, tessellated toads. And now you should stop and step through the assembly and check your understanding. All glory to Hypnotoad.